Okay, so now we're going to talk about a fun topic for a lot of people. They like to talk about it, Noah's Ark. And people have their children, little boys named Noah. So if your name's Noah, hey, <laughs> you're about to find out who you're named after. But in order to find out about Noah's Ark, and it's not just about animals and a big boat. It's, it's pretty cool to find out like what really happened and, and why. And so here's the, here's the little rough background as to understanding why did God flood the earth? Did you know that the earth was flooded twice? Yeah. At the beginning of the Bible, it says that God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth became a void, and then the Spirit hovered over the face of the deep. The earth was covered in water. The next couple of verses describe how God separated the waters above from the waters below. And so he began to separate the waters that covered the earth and land began to appear and he was restoring uh, what, was, what happened there. And what happened there is that there was actually, ready for this, there was actually two times that angels from heaven, we talked about those angels, two times a group of angels fell. One time a big group fell with Satan and that's what caused the first uh, flood that God judged them, uh, the angels and Satan here on earth. And then he created man. He made man. And he was created man with a, a soul inside of his body and gave us a spirit. Pretty awesome. He he just, he just he made us. He formed and fashioned us. He, he created us. It's pretty awesome. And then we were here to uh, repopulate this earth. And, and we did that. And, and then uh, the man and woman we call Adam and Eve, uh, well, they had a, had a child. Uh, they were going to be named Abel. And before he was born, uh, Satan deceived Eve, and then and then there was two children now, and 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 then Cain was the bad one, and because he was bigger and stronger than Abel, he killed him. You're know, like, oh my gosh, what's going on? You don't do that. That's bad. That's wrong. If you're bigger and stronger, you're supposed to help and protect your brother, not be mean. So after that, the man and woman Adam and Eve they had another son named Seth who was good, and but then after that he had other kids and. This one guy named Enos, he was born and he started to make fun of God. And then people started to make fun of God and make fun of God. And angels go, hmm, they're making fun of God. I bet you we could actually um, do bad things too because they're already doing bad things. We can make them do more bad things. You know, it's like when you already want to do bad things and not listen to mommy and daddy. That's not good. What you don't want is hanging around other friends who say, oh yeah, go ahead and do bad things. No, no, no. It's bad enough that we are sinners, and that means you want to do bad things. And that's why God and mommy and daddy help you to not do those bad things, uh, to tell you why. Uh, but people that try to encourage you to do that, those, those are not good friends. Those are bad friends. And so the angels are being bad. And so they, they're like when your mommy says, hey, don't bring any like uh, lizards and frogs in the house. Because that's not that's not safe and it's not they don't belong here they belong outside, and you bring them in and they get out and they start going around the house and now they're lost and ugh, ugh, frogs in your bed <laughs> ribbit ribbit and a lizard walking around the house you don't want that so angels they weren't supposed to go into the house of mankind and and, and be with us and and they tried to do, they tried to make a family with humans they wanted to they wanted to have a family with angel and human together as mommy and daddies I'm like what no. And then they wanted to also, uh, you know, have families with animals and have animals be like their children and, and, and have like mommy and daddies with angels and humans and angels and animals. And what? It's like, that's weird. And so all this is talked about in the book of Jude. And uh, it's just like weird. But then God says, that's it. Men, pe people are killing people. Animals are killing animals. Uh, humans are killing animals. Uh, angels are coming down and making humans do more bad things. And now these big giants brrr, were starting to walk over the whole face of the earth. These big giants, they were like 30 feet tall people. They were like half angel and half human because they were like, wow, like 30 feet, 20 feet, 25, 30 feet tall, big people walking around. And God said, this is wrong. You have ruined everything. You're doing bad. And the angels made you do more bad. So now I got to get rid of all this. So he tells Noah, he calls Noah very righteous, and he saves his wife and his three sons and their wives. And he puts them on a boat, a big boat, and he tells them to take two, one male, one female, of unclean animals. 
and that means that they were more dirty and not really as, as healthy and how they ate. And, and so uh, then he took, he said, I want you to take seven and seven of the clean animals. You're like, what? Yeah. It's in Genesis chapter 7. God said, take one male, one female of the dirty animals, the unclean, and take seven by seven of the clean animals. And that was because the reason of they're supposed to have more of them. So they're good for sacrifice back in that time and also for eating. And so that was why you had more of the clean ones and because they were just cleaner. And so on the ark, there was about probably about 10,000 species of animals and there was about 30,000 animals and all on the ark. There's a lot of animals. But was there any fishes on the ark? No, because the water is where the fishes live. They don't need to be on a boat. That's all for the land creatures. But you know what else is on the ark? Land creatures? Dinosaurs, which God calls a behemoth in Job chapter 40. He says that the tail of a cedar tree. That's his biggest land creature on the whole land. Then he calls his other Job 41, another big creature that's afraid of no other creature, he calls him Leviathan. We call that a dinosaur, I mean a dragon. He says he has fire from his mouth and smoke from his nose. You're like, what? God said that? Yeah, in Job 41. He tells Job that this is a real thing and dragons were real. And they, they, so he had a dragon and a dinosaur on the ark, and but they were babies. People say, how can you have all these big animals on the ark? It would stink, silly. Well, not when they're young. They were all less than a year old. All young animals, all giraffes and bears and whatnots and dinosaur and dragon, all babies. That makes them a lot smaller, a lot less weight. And that's why they could all fit. And why did God do that too? Because they're going to have more babies later on to repopulate the entire animals of all of their species. And so again, there's one bear and one lion that produced every kind of bear and lion. So a species is just that kind, and there's different variations. Like there's one human race, but we all look differently. And like there's one kind of bear, but there's many that look differently, and so on. Well, when they got on the ark, God, he made a lot of death happen to animals and men that did not get on the ark, because that's what sin does. It says the wages of sin is death. Well, many people, women, children, it's men and animals died 